and welcome to Petrol Ped. So I am back here at Hendy Ford Portsmouth. So if you haven't seen my Ford Focus RS review, one of the things I mentioned in that was that these guys had a Mustang demonstrator about to hit the road. And I had so many messages from people saying, when are you gonna drive the Mustang? Um, and the guys at Hendy said, look, the demonstrators hit the roads this weekend. Before anybody else drives it, why don't you come down and have a go? So here I am, I'm gonna not do my normal stuff and look around the outside. I'm just gonna get in and drive this car. I've waited so long to drive this car, so let's go. <laughs> Driving my first Mustang. Gosh, wicked. Oh. Of course, the coolest thing about this Mustang is the steering wheels on the right side. Oh, excellent. Um, so let's have a quick look around then while we're in here. Mustangs have always been great value in the US. But by the time you imported one, they were just too expensive and you'd be sat on the wrong side of the car. Finally, a right-hand drive V8 Mustang for the British market, on the road from about 34 grand. The external styling screams muscle car with an aggressive front end, gorgeous creases everywhere, and huge haunches. The interior has a sense of theater. The steering wheel is reminiscent of Mustangs of old. And the switch gear has a quality feel and looks like it comes from a fighter jet. Under the hood, the 5 litre V8 packs 415 bhp with 391 pounds feet of torque and will get the Mustang to 60 in 4.8 seconds. As we'll see shortly, that probably needs to be in the drive. All joking aside, we're now sat on the proper side of the car um, and we've got to take this car out. So it is a brand new car. It's got 116 miles on the clock. Uh, it's keyless go, it's an automatic. So foot on the brake, engine start and this V8 rumbles into life, man. And a Mustang appears on the sat nav screen. It's a lot of theater, this car. If I just, Oh man, now that's what a Mustang's all about. For me, this car is that V8 American muscle car. Without further ado, I'm gonna slip it into drive. So, let's go. Handbrake off. Let's go and find a bit of fun. Now, all I'm gonna say on this test drive is the road conditions are absolutely appalling. Um, it's, it's a very cold morning. The road is very, very greasy. I had problem driving here in, in my Mini, let alone driving a, a, a V8 five litre muscle car. Um, so I'm sure we're gonna have lots of fun today. <laughs> See, that's the noise I wanted. That's that muscle car. <laughs> um, so we're gonna step through all the driving modes and, and just see what this car's like to drive. I've heard so much about it. I am very intimidated. I have seen far too many YouTube videos of Mustangs pulling out of supercar shows, trying to kill people. Um, and I really don't want that to be the next clip um, on Gas Kings. Um, so um, I am gonna be quite careful. I appreciate this car's pretty tail happy, um, especially in conditions like this. Now what I do have are a range of uh, buttons, toggle buttons down here. This cockpit, I'm sure it's designed by someone who designs aircraft, because I've just noticed that the, the odometer says ground speed, not just speed, ground speed. And these buttons look like something out of a fighter jet, which are fantastic. So the first, I've got a couple of different modes. I've got, in my drive mode, I've got normal, um, and I've got sport plus, so I'm just gonna put it into sport plus. Engines kick down, little bit more responsive, but I've also got uh, a steering feel um, button. So again, I've got, comfort, normal, and sport. So I'm gonna put it in sport. It firms up a little bit, and I'm guessing that's just to make it a little bit more easy to deal with when it goes all wibbly at the back. Um, but the car now feels a little bit more up for it, a bit more throttle response. 
and the car's now up to temperature as well so that means we can have a bit of yahoo uh, although not too much yahoo um, but let's um, again I've got some nice roads I'm going to go and take the car out onto and we'll just see how it feels and I guess the big thing for me as well is this is a big car big American muscle cars are designed to be driven on the freeway in the state big long straight roads big wide lanes and I'm going to take this down a small twisty B road because this car's aimed at the UK market. It's, it's, there's been lots and lots of changes um, and I want to see how those feel. I guess the obvious one, the steering wheels on this side of the car, but the other one is this car has proper rear suspension. No longer something out of a, you know, agricultural farm machinery. Oh no, this has got proper British, you know, sort of suspension aimed at British roads. And that should mean a better driving experience when you go in round corners. So I've been driving for a while now. Let's do the boring bits first. Let's just talk about the ride quality uh, on a reasonably kind of typical British B road. And it's very good. Um, the, the ride's quite compliant. Um, you know, it's not, it's not spongy, it's not too firm, it's just right. Uh, it soaks up the bumps nicely, which is really good. So, from a ride comfort point of view, very good. Um, I'm, I'm, so far, I'm not a massive fan of the auto box. Um, I'm not confident as to which gear it's going to be in. And I've kind of obviously got the S Tronic box in my S4, and that's so good as a when it's just running in auto mode and sport mode and then you go to the paddles and it's a dual clutch and it's really good uh, i've been to the paddles a couple of times and it's just not quite there for me but that's not to say it detracts from the driving experience i'm just i think i'd want a manual gearbox so under my right foot right now i have 415 brake horsepower and 391 pounds feet of torque and i'm not massively convinced when it when it kicks in because as I'm as I'm putting my foot down, the gearbox kind of does you know drops down and, and so on, and I am I'm a bit intimidated as to uh, as to when it kicks in. What I haven't done is really floor it yet. I'm just waiting for the road to open up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it is a uh, because you kind of know what's under the bonnet and you you can hear it. It's just sat there menacingly rumbling away, um, and you know I, I want to tap into it and see see what it's there. But but it is quite an intimidating car um, to drive, which. I guess a muscle car should be. It, it shouldn't be something that anybody can jump in and, 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 and drive and drive hard. It should be something that, that is, is really quite difficult to tap into. Um, whether I like that or not, I'm not sure, but I get it. I think that's the whole point of a muscle car. Muscle cars are, uh, you know, they're, they're meant to look mean, they're meant to sound mean, and they're meant to feel mean. They're meant to feel like they're gonna bite your head off. Yeah, wheel spin, wheel spin. Yeah, that was wheel spin. <laughs> so pulling away from a roundabout with about 10% throttle, massive wheel spin. <laughs> Excellent. So the road's opened up a little bit for me. Um, I can push on, wheel spin. Yeah, um, excellent. Uh, I can push on a little bit. I just want to feel how the car flows through the corners. Actually, the balance and feel in my hand feels nice. The steering's nicely weighted. I'm in the sport steering mode, and I quite like that because it's got a firmness to it. Um, and it, it kind of feels okay. I haven't yet got to the point where I can feel when I turn the wheel and turn into a corner when it, whether anything happens, what the front end turning's like. Um, but just on an open flowing road, it feels okay. But <laughs> you do get some wheel spin when you pull away. Highly amusing. Now there are a couple of negative things I need to say about this car and the first one is something that came out in the press this week and I don't know if you saw it but um, finally the NCAP guys, the guys that do the safety testing for European cars have got their hands on a Mustang Coupe like this one and it scored two stars out of five. Now I believe apparently that's the lowest score that any car's got for something like nine years. Um, and the big challenge seems to be apparently that because um, there's a couple of issues with airbags It's way worse if you're a rear seat passenger if you're in the front seat It's not too bad, but the rear seat passenger safety wasn't very good now Ford have come out and said what they're going to do in the kind of up, When they refresh 
the Mustang, they're going to basically put in some features like um, the kind of crash detection systems that apply braking for you um, and lane assist and those types of um, safety driver aids. Um, but that, that's one thing to think about. And I know you don't buy a car like this. You know, if you want to buy a car with five stars, end cap, and worry about safety, buy a Volvo. You don't buy a Mustang. But, but it, it was quite a surprise when I read that. So, you know, that, that's something to bear in mind. Maybe. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's quite a lot of wheel spin coming out of there. So that was in, uh, I still had the traction control switched on there to help me. It gives you an idea in those wet conditions, just a little bit of tail slide. Now the interesting thing there was, it didn't feel like it was going to do that horrible snap that you see on some some of the kind of videos on the internet. It was you just play with it. It's quite nice actually. I think it would take me an awful lot more time in the car to really feel like I could play with that mid corner. Um, but um, I, m maybe that's there. I mean, obviously, if you're in an airfield or somewhere where you could really open the car up and and feel what it's like, then I think that would be good on a on a cold, wet, greasy morning it, when I've got the car for a couple of hours, it's brand new and I've got to give it back in one piece. I'm not going to be doing that today. But um, out of a T-junction, you can play with it. Accelerating, dropping the, the, the throttle from a, a standing start, that, that's pretty good too. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a, a fun car to play with, that's for sure. a bit jerky from pull away whoa 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 <laughs> now there you go that's a good example <laughs> so I'm in a 30 10% throttle 20% throttle bit of grease on the road snap um, <laughs> yeah that was interesting um, and I was just about to switch the camera off then so I'm lucky I got that but it's a really good example. You do have to be aware with this car um, because it's a big boy's car, this. It's not for beginners. Um, but man, is it good fun. Keeps you on your toes. Okay, let's try a bit of 0 to 60. Go. Wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin. 60. That's just compromised by the back end of the car going. I think you need a really dry road to get a 0 to 60 time out of a Mustang. Man, is it fun trying. final impressions of this car well <laughs> you every time you get in this car you're gonna either laugh have a coronary or have a crash um, but it's just a huge amount of fun it's just well it's huge in every respect this big five liter v8 burbling up front just menacing um, it's not although it's a big car to look at it doesn't feel that big to drive which is quite interesting actually even on tight twisty b roads it's it's not out of place on UK roads, which are maybe some of the um, the older versions of Mustang might have been. Um, but yeah, so 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 that that's that's good fun. There is just a question, I guess, because this car spec'd up to about thirty five grand. They do do the same car, but with the two point three liter EcoBoost engine, the four pot turbo, and that's still got over three hundred brake. Um, and you're gonna get probably. I don't know, early 30s MPG. Just to give you an idea, by the way, for my test drive today, I'm currently averaging 15 miles to the gallon. <laughs> I've got nearly half a tank of fuel and it's saying my range is 65 miles. So um, you don't buy this car for fuel economy. You buy it because it just sounds ace. So uh, you can't buy a Mustang with a 2.3 EcoBoost. Can you imagine being on the pub with your mates? Or oh, what do you drive? Mustang. Oh, have you got the five litre V8? 
well know, but I get very good fuel economy from my 2.3 litre EcoBoost. <laughs> it's a muscle car, it needs the V8, and actually it's got buckets of character. So I like it a great deal. It, it drives way better than I thought it would do. I'd heard quite a lot about the kind of plasticky, nasty cabin. Yes, you've got kind of fake plastic stitching on the dash and some of the plastics aren't great, but it's 35 grand. You've got over 400 horsepower in a five litre V8 with re decent road manners as well. With this new rear suspension, it actually goes around corners quite well. You can't have everything. You've got to have a compromise somewhere. If you think about, you know, the equivalent BMW or Mercedes, it's going to have like, you know, a, a, a smaller petrol engine, half the power, nowhere near the fun. Um, so it, it's, it's a very, very impressive car. Um, you have to be mighty careful, though, as you can see, I've had a few twitches this yeah, morning. Pull away. Um, and I've not been pushing on, I have not. I think I've probably maybe driven this car 60%. Maybe, maybe 65%, there's no way, I've not scratched the surface. Very, very impressive. Um, I'm gonna draw the uh, review to a close there. I've gotta take it back to the guys at Hendy Ford Portsmouth. I need to thank them hugely again. Um, I think they like my Ford Focus RS video. I'll put a, a link to that because I really enjoyed that. They were brilliant. They got in touch with me and said, oh my goodness me, you've gotta come and drive the new Mustang demonstrator. So a huge thanks to them. Um, for, for giving me access to such a cool car. I hope I've satisfied some of my guys, my subscribers and followers on social media. Uh, I've tried to give it the Yahoo. Um, it's a great car. I hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride. Yeah. Um, but yeah, sadly, I'm going to take you back now. Um, so um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have done so, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come, but I am now starting to nail down the cars for my Hot Hatch series. So, inspired by the Focus RS, I'm basically gonna try and review all the equivalent to that car, and I'm gonna put this in there, actually. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video. Anyway, you take care, guys. Drive safe, and I'm gonna try and get back to the dealership without killing myself. Woohoo!